Welcome to Just Siri, ladies and gentlemen. It's been quite an interesting week. Thank you for staying with us all through. And you know when it's Friday, we are ready to dish up the best conversations and laughs on TV because it's Hot Topic Special. Now, before we get into the show proper, News Central is holding a live town hall with those affected by the Dosumu fire. We held a town hall on Monday at Jakande on the demolitions and the team is already on ground in Dosumu. Let's take a look at what we plan. The Dosumu fire in Lagos tore through shops and livelihoods, leaving families shattered. The flames may have died down, but the questions burn brighter than ever. This Friday, 19th April, New Central cuts through the confusion to bring you clarity. We speak to those whose lives were shattered and the decision makers who must now help piece them back together. It's about restoring hope, finding solutions, and shaping a brighter future for a community in need. Tune in live on Friday 19th April at 11 a.m. only on New Central TV. Hmm. Wow, that's quite devastating, honestly. Yeah. And I was so happy that New Central was there to cut that very moment because that was really, really um, something scary. It was. Yes, it was. For those who missed out on some of the episodes this week, can remember, you can binge watch all the episodes on our YouTube page, and that is at New Central TV. And please make sure you're using the hashtag JaSiri to be part of the conversation. So we know for a fact that you're watching. Now, it's uh, as is usual on Fridays, let's start with a look back on the week that was. Now we begin the week that was segment with Catch Up Monday, where we reflected on the 10-year anniversary of the kidnapping of the Chibok girls. 10 years later, 10 years, ladies, and not mm. every single one of those girls is home. But let's take a look at this. The thing that hurt is that these children were not taken out of this country. Nope. How can you say that in 10 years, Tolu? With all the advancement in technology. And all the help that has, that all the help yeah. that yeah. has been offered over the years. I still find it unfathomable that we haven't found them. That's one of my most grueling thoughts when I'm all by myself. If they were taken out of the country, I'll say, oh, their footprints would have disappeared in the sands of time for a long time. But this yeah, forest they're yeah, talking yeah. about is still in this country. But do you country. know the size of Sambisa? Let's not lie. Sambisa is one of Niger. It was a, it's a forest reserve. It is massive. Okay. We Massive. And these people have been inside Sambisa so much that now they know Sambisa better than the natives. Of course. Than the people in the localities. Right, uh, right. But uh, it, it can't it still be tracked. And there's also the, there's, I can't even begin to, to imagine the emotional trauma. Mm -hmm. it, let's not forget that most of these girls were, majority of them were Christians. Oh. Came back Muslims by force. Mm -hmm. But you know, during the week, we did hear news that another Chibok girl was yes. actually rescued. Yeah. Um, a, a young lady was rescued during this week. That is one of the girls that was kidnapped during the Chibok uh, incident 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's... But uh, you, you may not be fully you happy, said but it, it's Sambisa something for is quite vast. Sambisa is massive. Kotolu, we have drones now. We have drones that can fly across a massive expanse of land. What and you'll be able to even that? use satellites to see very, very closely. So I, we can't really... I, I really you find no know. excuse, basically. We, we, no we've had that conversation, excuse. especially during the week. We've had it across almost all our programs here yeah. on News Central. And uh, uh, we're also on RDA, which mm -hmm. was yesterday, we we're talking to one of our guests, and he did mention that, you know, based on the statistics, he was just given the history of what had happened in the last decade. And he said that, you know, now the government has said they want to put a ban on uh, ransom payment, which we know, and then invest more in, uh, or let's say, depend more on international support. But then again, what have we seen from that? Are they going to bring their soldiers to come fight for us? What we can't do for ourselves? You know, Tolu said that mm -hmm. uh, these people have been in Sambisa so much that they know Sambisa more even than the natives. 
you also said that we have drones and all, but what have we done with all this information? Nothing. Nothing. So there's a vast technology out there. It's not necessarily that they're going to drop foreign troops on, on Nigerian soil, but the technologies they have available that we may not have access to, satellite imagery, um, so many other things, even specialized weapons and tactics team, mm. there are options. There what are we hope options. is that if the government is saying they're open to the options now, they embrace the options and we start to see results we from the options as soon results. as possible. results. You remember when there was a collapse building and they oh. had equipment they couldn't operate? Exactly. Oh. So what are you saying? Exactly. I'm so sorry. I, I, I still hold small hope. <laughs> <laughs> because we have to hold hope. And I, I, one thing I always take away from this story is that heartbreak kills. Yeah. The yes. parents who die, the parents will never know. Like, we don't know if the young girl, now woman, who was rescued from Chibok and who was rescued mm. this week, um, we don't know if her parents are one of those who passed away. Yeah. What is she coming home to? Exactly. So she even find later. her home Do you where understand? she left it? So yeah. you just think of the families, the generational trauma that has now become ingrained. Yeah. It, it's, it's sad. It's sad. We, we don't even know what, I mean, the families who are still alive, yeah. thankfully, but haven't seen their children. It's like someone was, one of the mothers was saying that she doesn't know why she's alive. Like she literally doesn't know what she's living for because she doesn't know if her, her child is dead or alive. It's just so sad. But I mean, away from that, I think for me this week, you all know that it has to be Wednesday when the ambassador for Gen Z buddies was represented. Now, she wasn't, or she's not Gen Z, but at least she could relate <laughs> to me. <laughs> I think these Gen Z are very in your face. What would you say about this generation that influences everything? And they seem to influence so quickly. They're setting trends. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I feel, first of all, they are bolder. Like, bolder. I have a Gen Z in my house, my niece, and she's like, she can say anything to anyone. And I admire that because, I mean, we grow up with when they say, oh, shut up, don't do this, don't do that. But yeah. I feel like that's the advantage that Gen Z has. They have guts. They can do anything. And I feel also that it takes a lot to be on social media because people are literally marking your script on the internet. It's not like when you're at work and they've not promoted you. You can even lie and say, oh, my boss doesn't like me. Yeah. That's why they're not promoting me. But if a creator or you're maybe sharing on social media, everybody who finds your page today, tomorrow, next year, all the years to come, will just physically mark your script right there. Mm. Ah, <laughs> I enjoyed the conversation. I enjoyed, but what you know what I've enjoyed? I've enjoyed the conversation on Instagram because yes. it has continued. We've posted the cup from the interview uh, and our conversation with Miss UD. And one thing we seem to all dislike, and everybody's disavowing, is this abbreviation short form. Oh, you see, no generation yes. wants to claim that they're responsible. They're responsible when everybody's saying, I dislike <laughs> I it. I dislike it. So where did you come from? IDG Gab, Onakolara. What is that? What is IDG? I just stopped. If you send me a DM with abbreviation, I won't answer. Mm. I don't see it. It's not my brain that I'm going to start using to try to calculate it. <laughs> oh, and then I realized some of the things that, like the base ones that started, I saw a video recently, it doesn't mean the same thing anymore. I'm telling you. I was like, why? Wait, there's a new meaning? Meaning to that? Someone can literally write a whole sentence with abbreviation. Now. And, and the funny thing is, now a lot of people can read it because we've seen a lot of, like yeah. someone mm -hmm. put a test, just puts a lot of random letters, mm -hmm. and I literally could read it. I'm like, no. Wow. Our no, own time, like it that. doesn't pass XOXO. XOXO, how's it? Low. That was really it. Or, or, uh, rolling, or, um, something. laughing out loud. Yeah. Or, and do you know? Do you know what's funny? There's some people that you'll be having physical conversations with, and they'll say, <laughs> "SMH." Yeah, I've seen. I'm that. telling you, like, or you're the, the, the like, yeah. online world. Yes, yes. or they'll just be low. Mm -hmm. I'm like, low. But I that low one. I'm like, what? What did you just say? <laughs> it's crazy. What anyway, else we have along? Yesterday we had our very good friend in the house with us, Florence Waleke Ukechuku. Uh, she joined us in our conversation as we addressed the health and safety of not just cast members, but also crew members in Nollywood. Let's take a snippet of it. Sometimes they, they go out of their way to make sure the job is done. Mm -hmm. The least you can do as a producer is to make sure that the environment is safe. And what I have done, what I insist, what I always do is to make sure that there's a nurse. I buy all the drugs. Like, okay, so um, recently we finished shooting at um, Ibejuleki. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a village scene. We stayed there for two weeks. It was crazy. But I realized that there were a lot of things that could go wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, I had gone there several times to make, you know, to make sure that, okay, yeah, yeah. you know, during pre-production, we're thinking, what could go wrong? What could happen? Okay, it's sunny, right? Yes, but it could rain. 
Mm. You know, what can we do to make sure that while we're shooting, and if it rains, we can we'll protect our that. people. Mm -hmm. You know, what can we do when it's really sunny? What can we do? You know, we're thinking to buy big umbrellas, buy three big umbrellas, which they never used. Okay, so mm. let me let me but interrupt you just there. Yeah. A little bit. Mm -hmm. but it was there, there. which was there. which is what I always tell them. I'd rather have something available and you don't use it than it's not available when we need it. Wow, yeah. it was and is very interesting that every day on Jessiri, and that's why you must be tuning every morning at 10 a.m. WAT. I almost said what? <laughs> 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 so you don't miss out on some of our best conversations and hot topics. You won't find it anywhere else on TV. Nope. And that's this week, and that's the week that was on Jessiri. So we keep it moving. I think you wanted to wrap. See, I'm going to give us a tongue twister day. I've been practicing. I don't know about two ladies, but I have a favorite one or two tongue twister. Well, so you have been practicing and we haven't. We will give you so heads up. Shine. Okay, <laughs> we'll give you heads up. Our producer will let you know. But even then, I've cut my tongue. All right, we're keeping the energy high because it's Friday and it's Hot Topics special and we definitely don't fly solo. We've got a special guest who's going to be joining us, so stick around after the break to find out who's with the ladies today on Oh, our guest is feeling the montage. <laughs> Why is Lola vibrating? Why are you no, vibrating? No, no, but <laughs> the soundtrack is good. No, I like that. Do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. She she likes it. I, I've already begged and pleaded that I, they I put my it. picture so that I can yeah. just... You know what? We will get our own Hot Topic special We need to. What was that? What was All that? Right. I created the drums. We'll make it happen. I'm the one that... don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. I bought it. So, as you can see, our guest is none other than the talented and beautiful actor. Actress and looking really good. Thank you. Etta Maria, welcome to Jessica. Thank, so Thank you. Looking oh, I wish so you could do your feet well. like this. So see, oh, because I mean, the shoes <laughs> are giving <laughs> the big compliments from. I'm from Cross River State. Ah, because the name Jamaria. So the name is a combination of my parents' name. Oh. My dad. It has a very long personal meaning, mm -hmm. oh. you know, because my mom has more influence in my life. So her name is Maria, and then my actual surname is Ojong. So I just took out J O from Ojong and added to Maria. So when you're calling my name, if I go to get my Oscars very soon, Ooh, I like um, that. and they say, Eta Jo Maria, like the Maria will go far because my mother, <laughs> you know, my mother is the reason why I'm there, you know? Wow. Oh, so so where, did, where did the Eta come from? Eta, that's my local name. Local oh, name. Yeah, it means uh, love the home. Oh, Ooh, thank wow. you so much, Ita, for being <laughs> here. Thank you. Uh, but, you know, uh, we've been talking Nollywood a lot this yeah. um, this past this period, week, yeah. and uh, we would love to, you know, hear your own experiences because mm -hmm. we're dealing with different aspects of Nollywood, and there are things that we can't do better, mm -hmm. and some things we need to shed light on. I want to know what your take is on the fairness in your industry, uh, like you know, during a candlelight process procession yeah. for the late junior pope yesterday veterans filmmaker ns2b didn't hold back as he exposed the harsh reality faced by personal assistants mm -hmm. and actors in the industry you know we need to even hear what he has to say it can be so disheartening Stand. say no sir if you're a member of a guild make a call immediately except your your your, your guild is comatose or your president or, or chairman is non-functional. Check us and say, sir, they want me to enter a forest and there are snakes here and I cannot. And the guilt should swing into action immediately, not after. I just showed some people the video of uh, Mr. Emmanuel Logo that was almost killed on the set because the producer brought an actor who did not have a driver's license. <coughs> and he was almost crushed. Went to the hospital. And what did the producer marketer do? Nothing. He said they can't do anything to him before this. How much are PAs paid? How can you employ somebody to work for you for 10 days, 15 days? Even if it's seven days, he's lifting generators, tying cables, it's raining, he's out there, we're in the living room, and you give him 10,000 after the end of the day. That's not just a sin, it's a sin against God. You're mounting heaps of of unpayable debts on yourself. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You pay PA 10,000. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Don't echo, please. Please. We all know this, but we keep pretending that it will get better. We are not doing anything about it. 
Oh, honestly, it's when tragic events happen that yeah. we really begin to unearth some yeah. of the dirty laundry that are hidden in the baskets of some of our industries. From his statement, it's quite alarming, especially when you hear that some producers are paying their PAs a mere 10,000 naira for 15 days of work. That is not just exploitation, it yeah. is downright injustice. Yeah. And I can tell you categorically that I know that crew members, they suffer. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes Sorry. actors are given so much priority that you are wondering that no be person born these people. Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's not nice at all. Honestly. And so what have you experienced? What have you what seen? Your own experience? Sometimes they don't always have to be your experience. Yeah, what you want yeah. to yeah. I mean, honestly, what she said cannot even be buttressed enough. And you could see that he shunned someone who was trying to even, you know, loudly because he needed he needed the focus. words, he needed focus, he needed what he was saying to be mm -hmm. really heard. Recently, just like two days ago, I was having a conversation with my friend who is a young and budding producer, and she was telling me about her friend who is an extra. So I know that crew members suffer at the expense of actors, but like extras who are actors. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like what that, the past, yes, the yes, yes. person at the restaurant. The, the, the amount of trauma, if, wow. if anyone who has been an extra, like some of us, God, God, God favored us, and I, wouldn't call, I, wouldn't, I don't think I, I started off ever been an extra. I started off like doing featured, you know, as a featured cast, mm -hmm. doing three yeah. scenes, two scenes and all of that, you know. But recently some extra who was supposed to be paid ten thousand naira for a day was they were being transported to I think Shagamu or something like that. And I think at eleven PM some supposed vigilantes, they thought they were vigilantes, stopped them and you know what they did? They took their phones, they beat them up. Wow. Beat them bitterly, and this is something like I'm speaking from like a secondhand experience because my friend is is a, is a friend to this person. Like they beat them up. The reason why his phone was not taken was because his phone was. This is not a shade to Android users, to be honest, but like that's what I heard. Yeah. His phone was an Android phone that was spoiled. So when they told him, <laughs> give us your phone, he said he said he told them that I don't have. This is the, this is the phone I have. They were beating him, thinking he was hiding another phone in his pocket. They beat him up mercilessly and took the phone. Is it that they were going into, back? They were going to set. They were going to Shagamu for a, a 10,000 naira job. So and why did at, they go At, at 12 a.m., they were still on the way. Why? They were still being transported. The producer was not, the PM was not even with them. And after they beat him and threw the phone in the bush uh -huh. and left them, someone called him and the phone started ringing in the bush. That's how all of them now depended on that phone to be to able to, to, alert, to people. alert people. Yeah. And they alerted that produce their PM and their PM said they should wait there, that they have to go and look for a way to now get the police. I think they stayed, she said they stayed there for, they sat there on the road for four hours. In the middle of the, the night. Middle. This happened just a few days ago. But you know, because of this thing that happened with like Junior Pope yes. and yeah. you know, the blood, People, things are happening on daily basis, like on a daily basis. There was another situation where a sound man, did he faint on set? He fainted because of too much stress. Like yeah. the duress was, you know, they carry these yes. equipment, yeah. you know, high up. And it's just some of them, some of them don't get fed on time. Yes. Mama, you Lolo, you you know, I like know this. I, I, I'm and telling you that you know, know right as famous, famous. I've been. I, oh. when, when you tell literal stories, and yeah. it wasn't a small set, I just don't want to mention, mention the name. Yeah, I was just giving jollof fries, and that was what I had. I wasn't giving a dime, and I know how much that sitcom went on to make. But you know, because people want to get ahead, that is why some of these things they swallow. Yeah, even me that I'm an established actor, do yeah. you know that on some sets? I have to make my own personal arrangements. I agree. Yeah. I so agree. that they will say, oh, she's, she's such a diva. She's difficult. They won't call yeah, her yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah. want to feed my children. Yeah. Right? And pay school fees. So, yeah. so humility. But sometimes I think this humility has gone to... Too far. It's it, allowed it, people to take the piss. Yeah. So um, I even want to know that. I haven't seen an SOB in a little while. In a while, yeah. So it was very gladdening to see him. You know, he's calling on actors to stand up against these exploitative practices yeah. and prioritize their safety, you know, on set. But would it be, I just thought Swat said something. Mm -hmm. How do we, what do you think actors and crew members can do that are not A-listers? Mm -hmm. I actually believe that it might be A-listers that can fight for those, for for those yeah, that are marginalized. Yeah, yeah. Or what yeah. do you think we can do to help people get better treatment? I feel like every person, let me use myself as an example. I'm not, I'm not an A-list. <laughs> I'm still growing. My career is still very budding um, by the grace of God. I've, what I started doing was, you know, when I go on set, like she said, 
and I know that, okay, maybe they're serving, um, I'm not Yoruba, so they serve this thing, beans and bread or something. There's a, there's a <laughs> name going. <laughs> Ewa going. Yeah, there's like Ewa going, and I know I do not eat Ewa going, and, you know, knowing that breakfast means a lot to me, and that's what they're serving, you know, mm. for breakfast. I don't mind, you know, like just putting out a little bit of my money just to make sure that I feed myself properly. Like mm. self-care, personal self-care is very important. That's like, that's the number one thing that everyone should take personally. Like know that even though you're on someone's set and they're like responsible for taking yeah, care of you and feeding yeah. you, your own safety is in your own hands first because she knows this, that once anything happens to me today, they replace like, you. it's like a long line of pure they bias. Absolutely yeah. you know, once this you. first car goes, the next car is already coming. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so you have to make sure that your safety is priority for yourself, mm -hmm. even if nobody wants to do that. I mean, obviously, speak with politeness and kindness, but know when to draw the line when you know that you're being outrightly taken for granted. You know, because A-listers too, like she said, some A-listers know these things, but everyone is just like trying to mind their business, <sighs> quote unquote, because they don't want to be seen as, oh, this one came to make noise, because there's mm. still, some producers yes, still go ahead yes. and yes. 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 you know. When you are set, you will see bottled water, you will see pure water. Yeah, oh. it happens. So you can be sure that actors and A-listers or, you know, top people would actually do Bottle water, water and yes. the rest yeah. of the crew would drink. Yes. So is this, is this AGN? Because we saw Emma Carolas come out. Mm -hmm. There's a very strong mm -hmm. statement immediately after uh, Junior Pope's death, banning Riverine shoots, uh, pausing for a day, also banning, I think, the lady involved um, who was the producer. Yeah, is this look. AGN's responsibility to set those standards? And if it is, how do they then enforce it? Because we talked about work times, work times. yesterday. Mm -hmm. We talked about exploitation. We talked yeah. about welfare. What are we going to do before the next incident comes? Who's responsible? And how does Nollywood then enforce this agreement? How do we bring all of Nollywood's um, stakeholders to the table? Yeah. Have a constitution? Mm -hmm. Have a memorandum yeah. of understanding, whatever it may be? Because you'll find that some people will sit somewhere and say, you're talking in the dust. Yeah. It doesn't concern yeah, but the them. The thing is, the AGM you spoke about, is everybody a member? That's the thing. Yeah, That's and they can't start. dictate what happens. So half of the time, if you're not part... If okay, so if it's not AGN, if it's AGN and producers, if it's AGN and is it P-Man, mm -hmm. whatever the agencies or the bodies are, come, come together, together as much as you can get the majority yeah. representation yeah. of people within the industry. I agree. Right. I feel like... All right. Uh, before we continue on this particular juncture, we'll need to take a quick break. By the time we return, we'll still discuss a little okay. more on this. And hot topics are still plenty. With the hot topics, you can expect that the heat gets turned up. And that's likely what's going to happen with this next story. Now, there's been a heated online debates surrounding Bob Risky's sentencing in his Naira abuse case. This is now being compared to how things played out for Kubana chief priest. It has also raised questions about accountability, influence, and even the law. There's a video from Timmy Abadje that explains why the court granted Kubana chief priest bail and jailed Bob Risky. There have been questions about that. Let's watch okay. this. Versus Bob Risky. Why is Bob Risky in jail and Kubana chief peace on Instagram? Number one, Bob Risky pleaded guilty, meaning that the court has to pick between 50 tanoya fine or kiri kiri, two portion of rice. Number two, Kubana chief peace pleaded not guilty and was released on bail of 10 million. Naira. Simply means he can go home and be coming to court for trial. Now, in Bob Risky's case, he said, I plead guilty. I did it. Forgive me. Have mercy. I'm a man. Uh, sorry, I'm a woman. You, you understand what I'm talking about? And they gave him two portions of rice. They could have given him 50k fine. I'm not the judge. If you're not happy, go to Koi. Mm. Then, Kubana Chief Peace said, I don't know what you're talking about. Under the law, Kubana Chief Peace has no case yet until EFS is able to prove that the money is spread in those videos that are circulating online. And number one, Nigeria Nera. And how do you prove that? The serial number of those money must be provided. The source of that money must be stated in court. And number two, okay, the money is Nigeria Nera. The D abused the Nera. Some people can even argue that the money in that video is not real money, it's fake money. That was just prayed for the fancy of showbiz to make people believe what is not real. But I deserve my comment on this development. Moral lesson of this story, invest in your lawyers. Some lawyers have LLB in law. That is Bachelor of Law Honors. Some have BSc in law. That is Bachelor of Science in Law. You either follow lawyer and be safe, or you follow scientists and become an experiment. The choice is yours. We meet you. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, that was like <laughs> oh. that was. You know, we talk about this generation or this. Whether it's um, boy, you get. 
Mm. Gen Z or yeah. millennial, whatever. Yeah. You have to reach them in the way they understand. Yeah. And that's what he did. He <laughs> 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 yeah, called after the show are just like, oh, guy, I, I know that. you. <laughs> but, but have you been following yeah. the story? Sort of. And oh. like, because I was having a conversation yesterday, and my friend said she read somewhere that one of these, like, you know, online sisters and brothers of Bob Risky said, the risky lawyer has BBL in law. Because oh wow! Like, <laughs> okay. I can not that. You know what I'm calling it? BBL in law. Oh, oh, but but you, know, you know, the yeah, you know the yeah, pun there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But it was spot on. It was spot on. Oh goodness! Once you plead guilty, you leave the judge or the court with only what the law stipulates. They are only allowed to sentence within the structure and the limitations and restrictions of that particular law or the particular crime you have pleaded guilty. That's what I was telling everyone. I don't get emotional. I still have a question. Father, that thing. That's why they put him in jail. No, it's a is it is a choice. Yeah, but I think his first time offender, he should have gone. But yes, so but guilty or not, they still had the option of choosing fine. the fine yeah, yeah. and sending him. So mm -hmm. th th I still feel like there's a little bit of inference there. there there's something there that we... Because why would you just send him to... It is... It what did you call it? Right? It, is, it is the prerogative of, of the, the court. Of the judge. Of the court. Yeah. He can like, either do this or that. And in some cases, both. Mm -hmm. But I so, like the point that Timmy now makes in terms of Proving the case against Kubana Chief Priest. Yeah. You need to wow. prove that the money is it's real, real. Yeah. that it was actually Nigerian yeah, Naira. In yeah. the way, it's providing the serial number, and then you mm -hmm. have to prove there was an abuse of okay. said so money. Yeah. That is what law is about. Mm -hmm. It's about proving mm -hmm. beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt. doubt. Yeah. I love it. As long as you can create a doubt. Mm -hmm. So you have done your job as a lawyer. How to get the sale number of money that was sprayed like a month ago? Yeah, they can actually yeah, yeah. say that that money, that the money that they saw was just printed, and they will go to the court and bring the money that they sprayed. As they said, this is the so is it, is it that the BBL lawyer, sorry, the, <laughs> the BSC lawyer, did not know all of these things? <laughs> no, 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 no. Every lawyer, it is just like telling me that some people didn't get got um, uh, third class. Mm. It's your your so it's about the prowess of the lawyer. That's mm -hmm. why you have lawyers and there are lawyers. Why do people invest like, in science? I feel, like, yeah, you want I to feel like they should have really weighed. For me, uh, the lawyer, if I, if, I, if I pay you to represent me, then you'd better do your job well. Mm -hmm. I feel like they should have really weighed the options you know, available to Bob Risky. Mm -hmm. Like his lawyer, everybody, his counsel and everybody, they should have weighed the options because ignorance, if you remember, is not an excuse, it's not it's not excuse according the to law. the law. You know, so if you go and plead guilty, that means you're telling me, if they say, who stole chicken? And you say, I did it too, I'm sorry. If I said, if there was a law that someone who steals chicken will be prosecuted or killed, mm -hmm. That means you're saying, I did it, kill me, kill but me. you can forgive me, try and for, you know, yeah. so it's like you put yourself there and yeah. you're saying, you, you get what I mean. I think about that so. time, maybe the lawyer was just overwhelmed by the public. No, but in the lawyer's defense, job, in, in, in the, the lawyer's defense, job, <laughs> defense. I him really. Mm, that's not but did he get yeah. his own lawyer or it was a lawyer assigned I don't think him. it was from DPP, but I'm not sure. I would, I would, I would but there's another so point on this I want us to take, because they say, to me say, you need to prove that the money is real. I tell you in Hollywood. I've got enough of that. We know that <laughs> one, people rent real money yeah. from Maboki mm -hmm. to yes, spray. spray. Then two, we know that people are using fake money. Mm -hmm. Have you seen it? Yes. Yes, no. I have. Yes, no. I've seen fake money. I've seen money, money. buy at there. Once you get to the wedding, you pay, you take the equivalent mm -hmm. of the money you want, you to, want spray, to spray, and they give you the money for the wedding. Yes. And you spray it. Yeah. And so what? We don't have prop money. Oh. Prop money. And those are the prop money that you just throw yeah. it up. Prop ah. money. Ah. But you know, it's interesting. I can tell you this. Uh, on the breakfast show weekend tomorrow, they're actually going to be talking to an event, um, an events planner because okay. now events planners are trying to help people find a way yes, around it. it. So yes. there are new ways in which you can, you know, spray that what you want to spray. But is this? Isn't it cultural? I know it's a very Yoruba <sighs> thing. Spray has become national, but it was really a little bit of a Yoruba thing. What Excuse happens me. to the culture? It's like our I, I, I don't want them to stop spraying money, mm -hmm. but if there's an alternative, because when we actually step on money, it's, it yes, destroys it, well, and, yeah. and all those things are really And that's wrong. money that we pay yes, to that print pay the money. Yeah. But yeah. if I can buy props mm. when I get to your wedding, 
and I can just uh, bastardize you with money. <laughs> money. <laughs> just make it. Like, you know, like, like yeah. 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 You don't be. And you know, your last steps are different. Yeah. 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 Spraying that money. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, it's, 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 it's going to take away the pressure, to be honest. Because pressure? Some people, yeah. who's, who's putting themselves under pressure? Oh, pressure. It's the same thing we're saying about, you know, uh, giving children money to spray and then making the other children feel bad. Some people cannot mm -hmm. attend parties because they feel like, oh, I don't have money to spray. Some people will go and change 295 naira just so that they can have a lot of money. But in terms of the law, I'm going to say I've heard a lot that Bob Risky likes freebies. So in his defense, maybe oh. he wasn't paid. Oh, it's not that. But you, wait, wait, it's not that statement. I, I won't set you up like that. It's not that <laughs> last statement that I want you to touch on. But in terms of the cultural thing, the spray yeah. thing, there's a different. Your dance changes eh? when they bring money to when you. When they bring, eh? the, 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 once you see somebody it's standing there. like this, even the. Even the song, the the praise yeah, the praise yeah. I want to talk about but yeah, I, I will be like an American and plead the fifth. I will not <laughs> incriminate <laughs> myself on national TV <laughs> because if I tell <laughs> you, if it is just you about, I use power money. No, I, who, but do you know that this Bob Risky lawyer actually missed a good opportunity to sell himself? Hmm. But what do you think? Honestly, I, I would want to even say first that I, I, I only Bob Risky and Kubana chief priest. The only people who so are supposed yeah, to be no, because yeah, she like says they're coming. Lagos. That their um, what is it? Their judicial calendar. I think it mm -hmm. starts in February. So if you have any videos from February, okay. start, start be, be ready. Uh, you did not see portable. This is oh, we did not bring portable's video. Portable oh. was on live a few days ago. Say please forgive me. <laughs> I know I have seen. <laughs> he was already saying job. <laughs> I know I in, in advance. <laughs> but I mean, going through uh, if we're towing the Bob Risky line, hasn't he like put himself in trouble? Because now he has literally everybody been guilty. Mm. Everybody has put themselves in, in trouble. trouble. Yeah. yeah, actually, I yeah. think the I only thing we would like to see is probably people are waiting to see either a politician yeah. or somebody at jail. Uh, they actually put a politician as well right, because mm -hmm. like their wedding is happening in Lagos every other day. Ah, and like, absolutely. They're, they're Listen, they will start announcing please as the couple are about oh, to they, start dancing. And when they run in the basket, please everybody, you cannot record at this particular moment. Actually, so they will say they pray, but they will still record. No, no, like that. So the one I saw was they told them not to spray and nobody came out. They put like a like an offering basket and they were like you just be dropping the vibe and nobody just, just came out. Like, the vibe like me, I'd rather just come pay money, pay money to buy yeah. props at the wedding and still so spray that you still regular. Have or you so can just carry your fun. ATM card. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Maybe that's, that's actually not One other thing I want to say on this. We're focusing on spraying as Naira abuse, but let's also talk about how people abuse the Naira in daily life. Mm. Yeah. When you go to the market, you, you see some money sometimes like, what did this how, money how did do? This, yeah. this 200 now, what has it gone through? I so I think when we talk about Naira abuse, we don't need to just focus on the spray. Let's not also forget that there are ways we should treat yeah, money. money. <laughs> Some people fold it and like, it's like they want to use it to No, it's not even nice. When you, it's like for me, <laughs> even women in the market should yes. be penalized. When you tie the money and you put it to your brazier. That's their own way of, of safeguarding their of money. Of safeguarding their money. money. But so you don't have you ever taken money, have to you ever take money that I sweat is smelling please, on please, before? Please, please, okay. <laughs> so it's I okay. Think, I, feel like, I feel like more education should actually yes, be, like, on a very serious note, yeah. like, we should have education on how money as a, as, you know, as a commodity should be treated. Because it's like, oh, it's because it's my money, I have the right to do do anyhow mm -hmm. with it but you know mm -hmm. it also represents our country it yes, represents it does. the currency is what you know like represents the country in a certain way you would you would you would hardly see the, uh, a dollar be squeezed a pound be treated, or a like pound that. Be treated yeah. you know like so yeah. i think that you know people should find ways to educate themselves you know or i don't know if they are going to be bodies in, in charge of like education see and i'm not going to lie right for a lot of nigerians it doesn't mean anything for you to tell them mm. to respect the naira because these are the same people who feel like the government the security agencies do not respect our uh, whatever symbolizes us as nigerians yeah. i mean look at ensas someone was literally waving the nigerian flag and still collect bag, bag, bag. so mm. if you're looking at that don't ask me to respect something if you don't respect it and mm. discipline I, I, we're not talking about this, but I've, I've always been looking for the opportunity to bring this on air. Please so bring it up. Feel free. The fact that, you know, we don't have enough discipline to know that we're not supposed to be littering mm -hmm. everywhere. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's so appalling. I schooled in Ghana, actually, and 
One time I remember someone, lit not, not on the road, in the gutter, mm -hmm. someone threw like a paper in the gutter and there was a man, a huge man who came out and said he should enter the gutter and pick it up. Pick it up. That's it. why I would, I, would, I would literally say, arguably, that Ghana is uh, definitely cleaner. No, in, no, no, in Singapore, yeah. you can't even choose. You know, like it's, it's against it's, the it's law. It's very, yeah. it's we'll appalling to just like there. enter the, yeah, people are in the car. Instead of you to put it in the car so that when you drop or you alight, you can like take it and put it in just the car. Just throw it out the window. Just throw it out the window. Yeah. And then they wonder why there's Yeah, so it's this, this little little things is this yeah. nitty gritty is the discipline to, to know that to be disciplined enough to know that okay this this is our country this is yeah. our state this is our, our local government this is our area this is our, our environment and we should take care of it is that same discipline that we need as well to know that even though the money is my money you know it, it represents you know something like in of my country you know something like that so you should know how to use it and yeah, if we are following like the government, like we, we are going to sleep and we will never have anything done <laughs> because the government so has. We have so we, 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 we yeah. won the passion button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. All right, so after watching this video, I actually woke up and watched this video this morning, yeah. the one I'm about to call for. I don't really know how to feel for the parents of this child in particular. And I would love to see your reactions. I have my own thoughts on this, but let's play the video and let's see. So it, it's a situation that, you know, parents would hate to find themselves in, mm. in any ramification. But this apparently is a young boy who's autistic. Yeah. Um, he was able to climb up to the shelves yes. and uh, in an electronic store. store and, and was pushing down. And pushing stuff. down multiple TVs. Mm. I come against every caca wall in the day. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Well, it's my mom. Like, like, sad. Wait, it's baffling. Wait, this boy is not, is not at the edge of a cliff. He's not on a bridge. Mm. I don't see why nobody can just go up there and get him mm. before he destroys yeah, But do you know that for a lot of people do not know how to treat people with disabilities. How the boy is yeah. steaming. I think they call it scheming. Yes, he's scheming. trying to. They, he's yeah. trying to calm himself, himself down. down. He can't. It's it's an involuntary thing mm. for autistic. And many people forget that there are different levels on the spectrum. Yeah. So you can't say, oh, because he's autistic, some of them are very violent. Mm -hmm. As in, when they go up, you might find it impossible to even Children restrain him yeah. as an adult. So, him. but they have therapies, they have ways, they have words. They say to them to calm them okay. down. He could be maybe a visual on the screen that triggered set, him. Triggered him. Yeah. Even don't you see when you're watching TV, they'll tell you that, this contains flashing, uh, yeah. flashing images, images if you have epileptic seizures, epilepsy. seizures. So those are things. So we don't really know what. But I feel that they have security operatives in this store. Mm -hmm. So that, you, that's what I was telling you. So in a situation like this mm -hmm. in particular, especially now in the U.S., they're very careful how they get involved because yeah. they can go and restrain him. Now the family will say that they've injured him. Yeah. He's suffering PTSD. Has trauma. It's a mm -hmm. lawsuit. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about it this morning. I said there are multiple ways this could have been handled. One. You're going to have to let him or the family calm him down. Yeah. Because you don't want an escalation. But they need to do that because he's really destroying a lot of But now he's on the shelf. He has destroyed everything. Yeah. He can't go anywhere else, <laughs> you know? Don't so you just... do you also charge the family? When I say charge the family, do you charge them to pay for those TVs? Ah, you don't get you, a lawyer. But, but don't you just love Africa? Ah, Africa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just imagine if this thing happened No, in me, I know that if it's don't abroad, just... they might actually find a way to to get off mm -hmm. based on the fact that the boy is disabled, okay. that he was yes. out of their control. Mm -hmm. But in Nigeria... What's their business? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying in Nigeria where 
a, a one child belongs to everybody. Mm. Someone would literally climb that place and, and snatch and him down. Snatch like that this, child. You know, like, but yeah. But the was like, that daddy, yeah. You said, so not that daddy, you know, yeah. See, go my steam, you buy. And see what? Yeah, let me know. I feel like in Nigeria, even if the parents don't climb, the owner will climb. Why? 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 No, Once no. Was that. And there was this last <laughs> TV that was, I, I felt like someone could have been able to. Before the last yes, TV. The first one yes. or two, maybe. Yeah, but, but that, the, by the last, last one. one was literally the last like, four. Held the, TV the last four. Something. Yeah, <laughs> because two people would have been yeah. here and it's going to be catching it. But it's just, it. it's just a situation. Yeah, and the thing that Lolo said is very true. A lot of us don't know how to handle it because we don't know too much about it. Do you know that in Nigeria, we actually demonize children like this? Yes. I know many who, maybe because I have some. Foundations are very are very passionate, uh, passionate about. about, and I watch a lot of things online. These are some of the things you should use your social media to do mm -hmm. to learn. To do you know how many strange diseases I have learned? Do you know Tourette syndrome? Yes, I've seen someone that had it, mm. and I a lot know, of people yeah. excuse the person. They thought yeah. that they could just go off like. And they and they start Pah! pressing. Mm. And they start it, saying it's a, it's all a, sorts it's of a things. Synapses is your neuron. It's, yeah. it's, it's, yes, it's like mm. the electrical. Wiring of their brain. brain. And again, I, I won't blame people because it's not so common here in Nigeria. Mm. The, the first time I saw someone that had it was after I had seen so many so TikTok many. videos. Oh. So when I saw this, I'm like, oh my God, this happens in Nigeria. Yeah, I was more so intrigued than even scared. Yeah. But a lot of people will sit down and be like, well, the lady that was in, because I was in the keke then, the lady that was in the middle was like, she was not holding me. I like, don't hold me. <laughs> you know? I actually used to babysit a young boy who had Tourette's. Ah. I got cussed out every day. Yeah. And it's involuntary. It's involuntary. Yeah. It is absolutely involuntary. And yeah. you find, Again, imagine that's happening to a child in Nigeria. They'll start beating that child. Saying, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, like, they'll say, you must every no, I already day. said the child will be... De well, even a child that has no, nothing to, to, to show such antics, yeah. they say you're a witch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you see the, the, the trauma they go through. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. we want to see if we can touch on this uh, virus. Yeah. Because it's, <laughs> it, 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 it's blessings king's man. Yeah, 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 I, I, was, I was actually trying to avoid it. Nah. It's <laughs> but it's but anyways, you're watching Jess here on Hot Topic Special Friday. Our next story huh, comes from my state, and it's Read so again. unfortunate. <gasps> now, in a recent development, right, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has declared Yahaya Bello the former governor of Kogi State, wanted over an alleged 80.2 billion Naira fraud. Also, a stern warning was issued to him, threatening to involve the military in his arrest if he fails to surrender himself for questioning regarding alleged financial misconduct. Now, this warning comes amid ongoing investigations into allegations of corruption and misappropriation of funds during Bela's tenure as governor. Let's take a look at this. Uh, okay, so it says the EFCC... Well, okay, let me get it for you. Okay. Uh, it mm. says that the EFCC, the public is hereby notified that Yahaya Adoze Belo, former governor of Kogi State, whose photograph appears above is wanted by the EFCC in connection with alleged case of money laundering to the tune of mm. 86.2, 80,246,000,000. 470,089 Naira 88 combo. It's always when they add the combo. <laughs> I'm always wondering. Um, Belo, 48 years old, is a native of Akane local government in Kogi State. They listed his last known address as his um, residence in Abuja in Wuse Zone 4, which was actually the scene of what seemed to be like a siege yesterday. Hmm. Don't show me, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Oh my God, I can't. But why is this happening after his tenure? Because he had immunity. Mm. But did you, you notice that the governor is fine, Sha? Huh? Can we say that? Which one? Are you permitted to the say The former governor or the, the governor? Former the former governor. governor. This, the governor. You two are agreeing. Sorry? It's huh? fine. She said? He's easy on the eyes. That's oh, what I'll wow. say. Yes. Um, <laughs> and it's quite sad. You know, I, I'm not saying, I, not no, no shade to anyone who... Please throw it if you want to but throw like, anything. There are just some people you just, why is this, why are you in this situation? Like, how did you get here? And you know that people you know? are saying there's, it's obvious that there's a desperation for him to try to get into some other um, level of government, government again oh, yeah. to find, but we don't know. And, and they're saying it's the current governor of Kogi State that swooped in Ooh, and helped and to get him out the from the siege yeah. yesterday. I, I'm really going to say, I think it was Aldu. There was a, I don't know, one tragedy that happened. You know, the person who was supposed to be governor died. And the, the rejoicing, I remember mm. I was still mm. in school then. And all of us felt like, oh, this was orchestrated by God. Oh God. Because this angel wow. is coming to save us. 
And years I after, I'm I still think very this is, embarrassed. This is a call to action to our leaders to, you know, when, know that when you are in a place of office, you should literally live an exemplary life. Should. You know. I beg you. Know, you. I don't know what it's one thing to know this thing that you're saying. It's another thing like to do. What have you done that these catapults have not done before? I beg you. Why are you loud in it? Like, there is something. I'm not the one loud in it. It's not FCC now. It's just a normal thing. It's a normal stuff. Which is very sad. People dress as women to run out of country. They are literally enter costume yeah. to go as the alarmists of that time. Anyway, thank you, Jare. Honestly, uh, <laughs> so why are you making this like it's some big deal? This is the first time they're embarrassing a human being. It's nothing to embarrass. It's not but an ex-governor. No, Tolu, you said that story with a lot of kiniko. <laughs> I bet read the time it's magazine <laughs> stuff. Let's let's be getting ready to leave. Tolu, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Tolu? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bougie it. <laughs> Time magazine with the prestigious 100 most influential people of 2024 has featured quite a number of Africans. We want to say a very big congratulations very to our boy. very own Burna Boy for making Love the you. list. Uh, the inclusion of several Africans on the list also helps to signify a significant milestone for the continent and underscores its growing global impact. The recognition highlights the increasing prominence of African voices and perspectives on the international stage. <laughs> and before we go, we also need to say we're still watching Tunde on Noko. Yes. 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 We are so, so proud. I'm so proud of him. So, He's yeah. doing so great proud. fit. Yeah. So now that it's time for me to... to, 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 to say what to, you want to say. And I'm just, now I don't want to yeah. say it out there. Don't worry. Someday, very soon, you'll sit down here. Nigerians, Africans were doing so amazing. Yeah. I saw a picture of Arista with Rihanna, and I was just so, yeah. I, like, I was excited. And you know that Don Jazzy had been crushing on her for a yeah, long time. And he said, what yes. Odogu could not do, so I did. I was, yeah. And of course, Rihanna was hinting towards, you know, a verse in Arista's song. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Is, it, is it Arista that's going to fully bring her back into music? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's go. 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 <laughs> oh, it's me that's going. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you on Monday. <laughs>